Hello, what are you doing for your boring time? Please do e best at home. It is much better when e best at home is served with a sweet dessert. Today, we are talking about six bony structural landmarks on the posterior approach. When you just make a base camp on the posterior approach, you can see the same view on the screen. And you can also understand the geometry of bony structures. Dorsal surface and medial surface of proximal lamina. Spinous process base, shortly SP base. You should also give a name, high ridge, on the marginal edge between the dorsal and medial surface. So, we can have six names on each bony structures. All these structures has special power to guide you into the correct direction. Especially during heavy bleeding with being incapable of orientation, thicker muscle forest covering the bony structures, revision surgery with no soft tissue discrimination. And I can communicate and explain you about the procedure in detain with these nomenclatures. After noticing the six bony structures, we can make three laminar lines which are made by connecting each other structures. The dorsal surface runs to the SP base and it makes the first line. The ventral margin of the medial surface continues into the ventral margin of the contralateral side. It is the second line. The third line is made after resecting the distal SP base. Proximal margin of distal lamina on the left and right seems like a smooth curve. The first boomerang, a line from the dorsal lamina to lateral margin of the proximal SP base. The second boomerang. It can be seen after doing laminectomy of medial surface of the lamina and resection of proximal SP base. A line from the deeper ventral margin of the upper lamina via midline to ventral margin of the contralateral upper lamina. The third boomerang, it can be shown after resecting distal SP base. A line from ipsilateral distal lamina via midline to contralateral one. This concept of boomerang is important to make a difficult story simply and clearly understood. Please remember the boomerang lines. Your procedure is shortly set as a story of making three boomerangs. When you find three boomerangs with ease, you can decompress any cases of severe lumbar spinal stenosis. I will show you how to make a base camp in helps of understanding of endoscopic geometry. The procedure making a view from the upper left picture to the upper right one is called as making a base camp. This step has four sub procedures. Elimination of deep intrinsic muscle in the interlaminar space. Removal of superficial fascia covering SP base to see the bony structural margin in the medial side. And then finally the first base camp comes out. When you put a scope into the interlaminar area, you can just see the rugged muscle fibers. Shavering the muscle fibers by using a shaver. Please do shavering forcefully on the medial surface of the proximal lamina. Try to expose bony margin from medial surface of the proximal lamina to the proximal SP base. Anyway, when you find and make the first boomerang, now you are ready to do a bony procedure for decompression. You should find the first boomerang within five minutes after skin incision. It is an ordinary and reasonable time when you understand structural geometry. 